All right, so we're just going to quickly film how we're converting a tubed mountain bike tire. This is a 29 inch tire. Uh, this is a tubed setup. We're going to just convert it quickly to a tubeless. So first things first, let out all the air. We're going to be removing the tire from the rims and getting that tube out. And we'll use a couple of levers. using your plastic tire levers you just open it all up get the bead completely off the rim there we go pull the valve out and pull the whole tube out beautiful next we're going to get the whole tire off the rim all right once you've taken it off the rim just separate the two Okay, we want to focus now on this. So what we're going to be doing is this already has a lining on the inside. Okay, so this is just going to see a tubeless ready. Now if this didn't have this lining on the inside of the rims covering up all the spokes, we would run some of this Gorilla type of cloth tape. This is a good quality uh, tape that you can tear off in any direction and you make it the width of this and you tape it all in nicely just making sure it's all clean in here just with metal lagged spirits and then you line it all inside but this is already done so we move on to our next step all right so what we've got is one of these valves okay this will be placing this it's got like a rubber seal you can see it now so we're going to be putting this on the inside uh, where it comes out put a little bit of sealant we're using stands no tube tire sealant. Yep, plug it in. Cool. Now put the screw. So you can see a bit of sealant under there. Just creating a little bit of a seal just as we tighten up the nut underneath. Get it nice and tight. Excellent. Cool. The valve is in. There's a little bit of sealant around the edges and we've tightened it down and also tightened up the nut there. So I'm very happy with that. Next job will be to put back on the tire itself. And just feed it around nice and evenly. Once you have your first bead of the tire on, on one side, then starting at the valve, you start feeding the bead inside the rim all the way around and you'll end up leaving a little gap open down here into which to pour your sealant. Once we have the tire on and we've left a little bit of an opening there, we've got 60 mils of um, tire sealant here. We're gonna put in about 80 mils into this. So if you wanna pour another 20 mils in. Okay, good stuff. Alright, so I've got our sealant in there. What we want to do, just going to spread it around a little. Okay, like so. None of it's escaping because it's inside the tyre. And there it is, it's come around. So what I'm going to be doing now is just feeding this tyre onto the rim. Now this tyre is quite tight. With the use of a few tire levers, this was extremely tight pulling over the rims. We couldn't just do it manually. So we're just going to rotate the wheel around at a slight angle, make the seal and seal come up on the edges, and then do it the other way. Like that. Okay, good. Next, we're going to put some air into this. Let's get the pump on. Start pumping it. You can hear that pop. There's still more to come around. If you want to just come around and have a look over here. See over here, there's a gap. Okay, and that's going to pop in a second. There we go. Uh, it's just about 20 psi at the moment. And just going to spin it around a little. Let that sealant go around as we're inside. 
and then just a little bit like this at an angle. Alright. Okay, I'm going to just pump it up to 40 psi now. There we go, it's about 38, I'm pretty happy with that. You take it off, bounce it around. Alright, we're going to put it on the bike very shortly, spin it right around. But uh, that's pretty much it. Just wipe all the excess off Just now. Just wipe the excess. Wasn't too bad actually, like in terms of excess, not too much came out. I'll just close the tyre valve here. Once we put it on the bike, we'll spin it around, then we'll let out some air to about 20 psi. So that's it, that's changing it from a tube setup to a tubeless. Mind you, I already had the rim tape on it inside, but like I said before, if you don't have rim tape on there, just use some uh, good quality gaffer tape, just like this. And once you put the tyre back on to the bike, okay, spin it around, and done deal. Now it might take, I don't know, it might take 24 hours for the sealant to fully seal up, but to be honest, I've put it on uh, my bikes before and gone riding immediately and no problemo. Alright so just so you can see this is the product I uh, got from 99 bikes does the job just fine. This is almost one litre 940 mils it's about $44 and it will last it will last heaps. Yeah just keep your spare tube somewhere there you never know when you're gonna need that it's probably a good idea I always take a spare tube with me if the tubeless setup fails up on the trail Okay, you can always throw in a tube and it'll uh, get you out of trouble. There you go. Hope that helps uh, some of you guys out there. Take me to the land.